What's going on? So now the World Series will start tomorrow with the Los Angeles Dodgers against the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, back in the day, I may have had like a little sentiment for the Dodgers growing up. People back in the day with Jackie Robinson. I did like the Dodgers growing up back in the day. I'm a Yankees fan, but I, you know, the Dodgers situation. But I don't really have a rooting interest in this World Series per se. The Dodgers should win with all the stack of talent they got. I mean, you got Clayton Kershaw's on the pitching mound, and you got on the other side, Bellinger and Mookie Betis, and your outfield playing. You got a squad. They should win. You know, I mean, you can blame Houston or Boston, steal signing all you want, but they've underachieved quite a bit with the kind of talent the Dodgers have been stacked with. I go back to 08 when they had Manny Ramirez and Joe Torre as manager, and they underachieved against the Phillies, etc. So with all that they've had there, they should be. But Tampa Bay is a feisty team. There's there's something to say about the Del Rays. They handle my Yankees. They, they are a feisty team, and they're not going to be an easy out. Both these teams had game sevens. Both of them, uh, Tampa Bay had to go. Now, say what you want to say about the Houston Astros, and I know people were clowning because of the whole thing, but they did get seven games into the uh, American League Championship Series, and Dusty Baker did a good job. All things considered with the pandemic and everything, the fact that they still represent it, they are still one of the two to three most talented teams I've seen in the last five years in Major League Baseball, regardless of the antics or whatever they did can't dispute that they got talent. I think they're actually, Daryl Carl came over to the Yankees. They're one, one arm or something from being back in the mix. So, you know, I, I wasn't no joke. And the Dodgers had to deal with Atlanta, who was a feisty offensive machine, just couldn't seal the deal. So the Dodgers came back. So very impressive. Um, but another LA versus a Florida team. The Lakers beat the Heat last week to win the championship. And now you got the Dodgers and the, the Tampa Bay, and it's like, okay, in California and Florida, what you trying to say? Because it starts to feel kind of political, almost like an agenda, you know. But anyway, um, should be a compelling World Series. Um, it could go either way, really, because it comes down to style. If it comes down to pick and pop, the Dodgers should win. If it comes down to close stint, Tight to the vest, Tampa Bay. They've been able to pull stuff out, so it should be very compelling World Series. Um, be one, it'd be, it'd be an intriguing World Series to say the least, you know. But we'll see how it all plays out, you know. Baseball is taking its hits and its lumps, and they were took them a while when the pandemic, and they had a lot of issues. The fact is that they're almost able to get the season, uh, get everything done, is amazing considering. The viruses, and of course, they're still coming, but the fact is that they're almost at the finish line. Because, unlike, you know, they had to get a self bubble later, like the NBA and like hockey did. So, we'll see how it all plays out. But anyway, Los Angeles versus Tampa Bay in the World Series should be a real interesting series. Could be very interesting teams, interesting matchups. Who you like and tell me why. I welcome uh, answers and feedback. Uh, you think it's going to be a classic? Do you think it's going to be a blowout? What you think? Give me your thoughts, your takes. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And you want to see everybody play well, be healthy, be the best team win. And it should be, you know, an interesting, intriguing series, to say the least. All right, peace.